How's everybody? Let me get these out of the way. We get enough glare as it is. Anyway, how's it going? No, we haven't sold the house yet. We think we're getting a little closer. We've had a couple come back in to take a second look and they brought their measuring tapes and flashlights and notebooks. So, you know, crossing the fingers. Anyway, I told you I was basic. I cut down most of my stuff for what I kept out and I figured I'd show you some of what I kept out. This is the Elf Natural Glow Face Palette. Now it's got a sort of eh, quiet bronzer and a couple of blushes and a little highlight over here next to my thumb. Subtle stuff, but it works. I mean, You know, little powder. I've got the Halo Glow, and I've got the CC Cream, and I've got the sunscreen that's supposed to also be a primer. And the sunscreen has got enough color in it that I just powder over it and go on about it when I use that one. Yeah, it's like I've got a couple of dry patches right between the eyes that are kind of grabbing stuff and holding on for dear life. And I've got, you know, my primer. I've got some, I've got two different versions of the Where's the other one, Barrett? I've got a couple of concealers and my eyeshadow base. This one is from Ace Beauty. I got in one of the boxes. I've got a couple of I've got a couple of mascaras. I've got the Essence Lash Princess and one from Elf. And I've got a few of my cream products that are the basically the same thing, you know, a little cream blush, a little cream, cream bronzer, and, you know, it depends on what I'm feeling that day, and a few bits and pieces like that, and some pencils, and a fair collection of lipsticks and such. Anyway, I'm doing okay with that. But I also, I told you about the three little Timu palettes that I had picked up that were inexpensive. And the one that was, that's got all the bronzes and golds, and the one that's got all the pastels, and the ones that's got a lot of more bold colors. But I was looking at Timu because I'm starting to, as we get on in this moving process, I'm starting to think about what I want to do and all that once we move so I can reset some stuff and, you know, I was also thinking about what, you know, what brands and such I want to pr pursue. And I saw three, but this time it was three in kind of a collection, palettes that were, they caught my eye, but for the wrong reasons. Um, you may or may not, I'm not sure how well you'll see this, recognize that kind of stylized funky bead on the imprint on the shadows. That's the Beauty Bay imprint. And that's what I saw. And 
I went, huh? Because this was $2 a pallet for these. And I'm going, are they really selling Beauty Bay? Or is this a, you know, leftovers thing? Or, I'm like, but then they showed the pallets closed. And this is what it was. Miss Laura Ultimate. Yes, I'm checking over my shoulder to see if you're in frame. All right, all right. And on the back, it says, Miss Laura. And I'm going, okay, so I ordered them because I had to know if they had just, you know, swiped an image or what. So, yeah. Now, I bought a little bit of Beauty Bay, and I rather like Beauty Bay. And I was looking at these palettes on Beauty Bay for something I was thinking about picking up after the move. So, I've only got, I got these because I was just, at two bucks, it was worth the chance to see if this is what was going on. And with Timo, if you want to get an order shipped out, you have a minimum 10 buck. And I had also picked out a toy for one of the dogs because he's already gone through some of the other ones and we wanted a new toy for him. It's one of them rope monkey knot balls for him to play with and he thinks it's wonderful. So between that and the three palettes and this rather pretty pencil that I picked up, I made my $10 minimum and got the stuff in and I'm going all right, now, let's see what happens. I opened up the packages, and there, indeed, in the thing that says Miss Laura, is the Beauty Bay logo. Now, I, I'm pretty sure you could tell that I used this palette today. and got a little help from this palette which is another Miss Laura with that lovely bee and anybody who's used to both Beauty Bay and like some of the NYX stuff may recognize some of these palette layouts and then this is the other one that I got. Like I said, it was three in a row, and this was looking real familiar. Anyway, I was not formula disappointed. Nothing was super light, nothing was chunky, nothing was like crumbling and falling apart. I got the kind of payoff I expected with the eyeshadow, but I was expecting the eyeshadow to give me the payoff of Beauty Bay, not a $2 unknown name Miss Laura um, private label thing, and I got Beauty Bay. I mean, this this is not, and I've been wearing this literally hours, hours. I put this on about one o'clock, 
and it's now 9 o'clock p.m. my time. Yes, I've gotten a little creasing because hooded eyes, but this is Beauty Bay. So I'm, I'm a little concerned, I'm a little confused. Not that tiny. But I'm going to be taking a lot more time looking at things I get from Timu. Now, I like the Timu stuff. I like the stuff I've gotten. I love the clothing items. Um, I really like the not quite so branded stuff that I've gotten. Um, you know, the little generic palettes that I picked up that, yeah, they look a lot like a lot of other stuff you can pick up on AliExpress or even in the cheap section in Amazon. Um, but they're not showing logos that belong to standard companies that I don't know would necessarily approve of their logoed stuff being sold under somebody else's name. So, yeah. I was kind of happy when I first found Timu because it didn't seem quite as sketchy as AliExpress, but now I'm, I'm going to be a lot more careful about what I pick up. Am I going to stop buying from Timu? No, that would, in some categories, cut off my nose to spite my face. It is way too many other things besides the makeup to just completely flush it. I mean, otherwise, where I live, there is no place to shop. Otherwise, I'd be flush flushing Amazon because of being sketchy. So, yeah. Do I like Amazon? No. Do they serve a purpose in my purchasing? Yes. It's like I'm out in the middle of nowhere. I have no car. I can't go anywhere. And they can get me stuff in a reasonable amount of time. That's about it. Timu is way faster than AliExpress. Um, AliExpress has some even more sketchy stuff going on than Timu, and it's one of those definite cases of buyer beware, but let me tell you, I'm not buying any more logoed stuff unless it's being sold under the logoed company name. I mean, they've got things like CZ and the some of the other Korean skincare and beauty brands that they are selling at pretty close to market price under their own their own company name and all of that. You know, some of the some of it is on the up and up, but this one is just a little bit sketchy. Am I gonna throw it away? No. I bought it, I'm going to use it. Buy more of it like that? No. But I'm not here to virtue signal. I didn't go out and buy Bud just to throw it away so I could like do a video of it. Um, if you know, you know. Anyway. I'm, I'm happy that I got makeup of this quality that came in. I am not happy about the fact that this has been being sold like this. And I'm going, yeah, no, I don't have a lot of reach. No, I don't have a lot of people that look. But I'm going to market to be picked up by Beauty Bay, I'm going to market to be picked up by Timu, all of that. And yeah, whoever I manage to 
connect with is going to know that I'm not impressed. Will it make a difference? I don't know. Do I feel better about telling? Yeah, I do. But that's about it. I do. I make myself feel better for doing something like buying this stuff by waving around and going, hey, this is what happened. Okay, it is a version of virtue signaling, but hey. If it makes it makes any kind of an impact and stops the practice, good. If anybody else who watches this decides that they're not going to buy because of the practice, good on you. Anyway, I think that's probably enough jabbering for now. In the meantime, what do you think of the look? Bye!